This is Craig Carruthers coming to you from the Bing Lounge. You're listening to Kink FM. Craig Carruthers. You're almost a, a, a sit-down comedian with a six-string, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, but it's always good to know early on if an audience can spell. It, will, it, it could shape future song choices. No, it's important. It's important. Find the level of the room. <laughs> Find the level of the room. That is a veteran performer right there. Craig, you've been, uh, uh, we've, we've been missing you. You were a longtime uh, Oregonian, Portlander, uh, traveled to uh, Nashville 15 years ago and have made a home there. You're back frequently, thank I goodness. Am. Am. And uh, first off, I guess, tell us about the benefit performance you're here for on Friday. Uh, I'm going to be at uh, the, it's actually not a benefit, now I feel bad. Oh. <laughs> Someone will benefit from it. Uh, hopefully I you. Who, I hopefully you be. will. I'm, I'm playing at the Walters Arts Cultural Arts Center in Hillsboro. It's a beautiful auditorium and the show's at 7.30 on Friday night. So there you go. I heard the word arts, and I thought, okay. Art benefit. There, there, there you go. go. There you go. Maybe so, someone will benefit from so it. So ticket, tickets available now for that show. Please yeah. come out Friday night. Now, we were talking earlier about what it takes to be a successful, surviving musician. <laughs> and, uh, and you've been writing songs and playing music for a good part of your life. You're still standing. How do you do it? Well, I heard somebody say earlier today that the, the only way they can beat you is if you actually quit. Somebody just said that to me yeah. since I've been here in this room today. I asked somebody about what was going on with them, and he told me, and he said, well, you know, they said the only way they could stop me is if I quit, and I refused to quit, so they couldn't stop me. So I guess that's the facts. I don't, I don't have a secret formula. You need to be really fond of Top Ramen. Good. <laughs> and to not get above your Top Ramen. You've got you've to be good at... It's uh, cyclical. You know, you'll have, a good, you'll have a good stretch, and then you'll need to go back to liking Top Ramen. In terms of in terms of uh, of playing your craft, um, you you play solo, you play with bands, you've got uh, some side projects going. T tell me about sort of I don't know vanity project. Would that be the, the right way to describe like for example your album with uh, with Don Henry? Uh, well, I do have, I do some boutique records that are sort of um, limited release records um, that are sometimes targeted towards regions. For example, Steve Seskin is a hit songwriter who lives in the Bay Area who has been here once or twice, and Don Henry is another songwriter who lives in Nashville who's been in the Northwest a few times. But the three of us always do shows together in the Bay Area in January. So this year we put out a live trio record of a performance from a couple of years ago, which pretty much doesn't mean anything to anyone who doesn't live in the <laughs> Bay Area. So that's kind of a boutique release. And it's like your own bootleg. Yeah, we're bootlegging ourselves to beat you guys to it. That's just... That's right. Cut the middle This show's man. already available. There's a guy in the parking lot right now <laughs> selling this show on Thumb Drive. I wonder what I played. Oh, you were great. <laughs> Thanks. You were fantastic. Thanks. Your, uh, your album, Vagabond, I was laughing at the album cover because it's a, it's a picture essentially of North America, and it, and it sort of uh, indicates the uh, traversing uh, that you've done as a musician. Tell me a little bit, uh, a bit about that album and, uh, and all the guests that, that played on that with you. Well, and then the back cover is Northern Europe because there's a lot of collaboration during that period of time with some uh, Scandinavian artists. And several songs on that record were r written with uh, different people from Sweden and, and uh, Denmark. And then there were people from Texas and, and California and all, sort of like in the movies, I guess they call it the second unit where you're filming a show about Portland, but there's a scene about Seattle. So there's a smaller film crew in Seattle shooting that scene at the same time. There was one day where I knew there was a woman recording a vocal in a, in a college studio in Malmo, which is in southern Sweden, and a guy recording a bass part in a studio in Copenhagen, and a guy recording a trumpet part in a studio here, and a guy recording a drum part in Jefferson City, Tennessee, all at the same day. And I, so my <laughs> record was being made all over the world at the same time. It was really cool. So, um, yeah, a lot of traveling. I, I, I do two 7,500-mile drives every year to go all the little places that I can't go if I, if I just fly. Um, I try to get over and play in Scandinavia every couple of years. A lot of traveling. That's a, the, so the last of the 20 questions. I'd be, uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't bring this up, but as you were here at the passing of the torch from the Bing uh, Lounge to the Skype studio, you actually teach a music class I do. via Skype. Yeah, I got... I got a call a couple of years ago and got hired at the University of Miami um, to teach a lyric writing class over Skype. So the good part about that is that I can do it when I'm on the road. The bad part about that is I have to do it when I'm on the road. <laughs> like, like I'll leave here and I'll drive to Bend and I'll play in Bend tonight. And then at like seven in the morning, I'll be on with kids in Miami on Skype. Hi, you guys. <laughs> 
Fantastic. So it's, it's, I'm really lucky to have it. It's really cool. The Skype Lounge, what's the deal? That's it. What's the deal? I, we'll find out soon. Okay. That's Do you have to it. wear a little special shirt when you're... I, th I think I've got, a, I've got to carry around a, an iPad with, and I just Skype. We don't have to direct, deal directly. I'll Skype to you, even yeah. though we'll be this close next time you come. All right. I think that's how it works. That's I'm not the, That's the fountain of youth, you know, because when you look into a car full of 15-year-olds, they're all on the phone, but not to each other. <laughs> yeah. The secret. Yeah. There we go. I think There that's you go. It. Wisdom. I Music think. and wisdom. So I love all the high technology, and here you sit with an acoustic six-string guitar. Like Joni Mitchell said about when she was talking about James Taylor in the Woman of Heart and Mind, I think, where she says, pouring your heart out, soul out through the sound hole on your knee. I remember what song that's from, but that always stuck with me. That's an amazing description of it. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Carruthers.